All right, guys, welcome back. In this video, we're looking at uh, little quality of life changes that can make your rig better using Transformation Limit. So um, one of the first ones I wanna show you right here is if you select the model that we have so far and we kind of tilt the body right here, tilt the head, um, the head kind of just tilts with the body right here. With the transformation limit, if you want, you can make it so that the head actually stays uh, leveled with the ground. So uh, you can always animate the head by itself, but at least you'll have the option to do so. So I'll bring in a transformation limit and I'll connect it above the head group right here. So currently the head is connected to the neck master. Let's just bring that closer right here. So we have neck master, which controls the neck and the head right here. So I'll connect my transformation limit just above the head and underneath the neck master peg right here. I'll go into my transformation limit. And right now, what I want to do is I want to make sure that um, when stuff above, so the neck or anything above that moves or scales or everything like that, I don't want it to affect. So I don't want the scale to affect my head and scale it at the same time. So I'll set those to zero. I don't want them to skew either. I don't want it to rotate. So if I turn that off, I don't really need the uh, translate Z value either. Um, and the only thing left to do now, because this is already active, um, we want to input the parent name. So how, uh, if I want, again, to rotate the entire body, I don't necessarily want the head to always remain uh, leveled with the ground. So I'm gonna set that to the master peg again. I'm gonna set this value right here to 100% to ignore the parents. Um, and now in the neck master, if I try moving it now, it kind of looks a little bit awkward because it's not allowing for rotation or anything. So I'm just gonna change a little bit. The transform limit actually has its own embedded pivot point right here. I'm gonna move that a little bit higher to be about where the head should be. And that's gonna help with how the entire thing is going to be processed. So I'll just hide it again. And now if I move it, it moves already a little bit better and follows the head. So if I wanna do a little head dance right here, that works quite well. And now if I try moving the entire upper body right here, the head actually stays leveled with the ground right here. If I move above the master peg and go back to my main peg, now I should be able to rotate the entire thing without being affected necessarily by what we have over here with the head. So that's one little trick that you can get out of the transform limit. Stay tuned for more.